Mm. Okay, so we're live. All right. Let's see here. <laughs> well, let's see. <laughs> Peace be with you. Salam alaikum. Shalom, Hotep, beloved black family. Um, I wanted to show you something. Since it's now nighttime, I wanted to go ahead and show you what this um, backyard in the middle of the hood garden, the garden of Wapinzi, if you will. I want to show you what it looks like at night with all the lights. Okay, so let's just come along here. Yes, indeed. Shalom. I'll turn the camera around. I believe if I do this. There we go. So first of all, as you can see, this is the the, the lamp for the uh, Niskalen right there. I got the light going on there. And these lights right here, these flowers. This is the garden that has the, uh, the two apple trees. You got the light there, you got the butterfly. My wife likes that butterfly. And those lights, they, those flowers, the, 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 the flower and the butterfly, as you can see, they change colors. They change colors. And I should have a lantern right here. My lantern should be on by now. I got my lantern. And let's see what these other lights. Got some lights there. I could put a lantern right there. Boom. That's where the greenhouse would be, but let me get that other lantern for that one. All right. And here's another lantern. All right. Boom. Let there be light. <laughs> All right. Let's see here. We got some shed some light on this situation. Yeah, we got little lamp, little little lights going on there. You can see the little lights. There's another one up ahead. Another light up ahead. Yep. And you see a little another flower right there lighting up. And then of course the greenhouse. The little greenhouse. And see this lantern. I could just hang up like this. You see that? So that way if I've got work to do at night, like I've got this tree right here, you can't see. But see this tree? I'm gonna revive that tree if I can. This is a miniature what they call uh what do you call these? Uh, yeah, bonsai, bonsai tree. I want to revive it. It's, it's, it looks like it's got some life in. You know, something has life in it when it has some green. <laughs> yes, indeed. Uh, so it's got some green stems. So I think I can revive this if I treat it nicely. So let's put that lantern right up there. Okay. Think about gardens as it makes you feel peaceful. There's something peaceful about gardening. This is my, it's more than just a hobby. You understand? It's, it's like my, my way of spiritually traveling. Mm -hmm. So let's go over here to the pond that I showed you guys earlier. And you see here's the entrance to the to the, uh, the the landing or whatever I haven't I don't have a name for it right now but uh, let's see here I don't know if you guys saw those are the, the lanterns there you got the two lanterns right there and let me get that other lantern so I can walk around and, and get a better give you guys a, a better view this lantern right here I can use this one just a little bit more light on the situation <laughs> yeah this is this is my thing right here 
Oh, I don't know. I've got many things that, that are my things. I can't say I have one thing. Okay. Well, this is my favorite part of the garden right here. Go over here, right here, and have a peaceful seat. You know, it's kind of weird because sometimes at night you'll hear like gunshots and whatnot going across. You know, you hear you know, some, you know gunshots and ambulances and police cars. And then, but being in this garden kind of makes you drift away from all of that. I'm just sitting here listening to the waterfall going. Very, very peaceful. That's that's what I like. I like to be able to make, you know, my environment peaceful where it might not be so peaceful elsewhere. You know, because after all, you know, outside of these, the, the, the parameters of this house is still the real world going on. You know, all the things that are happening. You know, family members getting shot and killed by our own and by the enemy and you know just these things are happening so sometimes it just feels um, soul soothing to just be able to sit and relax and reflect and meditate contemplate on different you know matters about existence purpose being the cosmos. Look, you can even, I don't know if you can see the moon, but there's the moon right there. You got a crescent. You can't really see it with this camera, but there's the moon up there. Let's see here. And, uh, I don't know. It's just, this is my, uh, manifestation of a meditative environment. You know, sometimes people live life too um, harshly and we forget to laugh sometimes. We forget to even cry sometimes if you have to cry. We forget to do all these little things that are part of what we are as human beings. And um, I'm just going to go back here and turn this light off. I like to preserve them in case I want to come out here and do something. I still have some light. But yeah, sometimes we just forget to be human. You know, we get so wound up in the drama of the world dealing with evil um, people. And uh, we forget to, uh, we forget to be human. You understand? And I try to always remember that that's what I am. I'm, I'm you know, a divine design you know i mean think about it we're sitting on this planet this is the stuff i think about you know i ponder on all the time we're on this planet going around this ball of fire <laughs> in a gigantic i mean beyond my mind comprehensive abilities universe and this is what we're living in and, you know, everything is tied together. Everything is linked together. Everything is all relative, you know. That's why I like plants, because it reminds me that I'm connected to these plants. They're connected to me. You know, everything is, is, is related and connected. And so, you know, I'm reminded of that every time that, um, I, every time that I contemplate. You know about life so I'm back over here at the pond yeah you can just sit here and listen to the pond listen to the water running 
And isn't that isn't that interesting how water has that effect? You hear it running and moving, you know, activity, and it makes you feel peaceful. But at the same time, <laughs> if you hear too much water running, like a lot of water running, it could become fearful. You understand? It could become very fearful. And, uh, you know, so it's like too much water, fearful, too little water. I don't know how that would make me feel. If, I, if it was just like a little trickle, a little... Maybe maybe a little bit of water it has a feeling of hope. I think that's what the feeling would be, hope. You know, the hope that there's a possibility to... Um, to, what do I want to say? Um, that there's there's there's... The possibility of life. You understand? When you hear just a little trickle of water, imagine if you were in like a desert or someplace, you know, you know, some type of wilderness, and you all of a sudden hear a little. You're, you've been traveling for days and you're thirsty. You, you just need some water, and suddenly you hear this little trickle of water. Just that little trickle, trickle would would you know motivate you and inspire you and give you some type of hope. You understand? And then at the same time, when you hear loud, tremendous, noisy water, it kind of, you know, has a frightening sound to it, I suppose. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I suppose too. Yeah, that's, that's true too. Um, so... Sometimes it's good just to um, return to your, own, you know, inner reflection, you know, introspect, in, introspection, right? And um, you know, med be a you know, sort of meditative and, 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 and smile a little bit. You know, you see the you see the violence happening. You see all these things happening. I mean, we could report, we could talk all day long about, you know, the ones amongst us who been murdered because of um you know dealing with you know being you know caught up with the uh the enemies and we need to talk about that that has to be talked about that has to be spoken about it also has to be spoken about who's going to stand up who's going to rise up you know and unify so that we can better protect ourselves from events like that and so that we can better become the nation that we should be but there's many aspects to this um this circle the cipher you understand there's many aspects to it where one of it let me turn this camera back around there we go there i am there's many aspects of it that um you know you want to be balanced you don't want to you know have the, the venom of ill, you know, that comes from constantly thinking about negativity, constantly thinking about, you know, woe, doom. I mean, doom is there, you know, you know, if um, a nation, if the world, you know, the world, we say that the world one day is going to come to a, a ending point, whatever the case may be, the, the doom is there. But doom is really going to be in the perspective of those people who have something worth fearing. But when you're connected, when, you, when you're spiritually connected, when you're spiritually in tune and connected to you know, divine cause, divine purpose, in sync with the, the cosmos, you don't have anything to fear because you know that you're where you need to be and that whatever happens to you is part of the pattern. Is part of what needs to happen to keep all this going the way it's going. You understand? You know, our ancestors had to go, you know, in order to go to their next phase of existence. And they had to go, uh, you know, otherwise we couldn't be here. You know? So all this is a, a huge dynamic that, I mean... To even try to break it down. I mean, I know we've got all kinds of scholars and adepts and people who've talked about this for the, for years and years. But 
it is very complicated and it's very simple at the same time. Just like this water right here. You know, it's so, you know, it's simple. It's, it's innocent. You know, it's clear. It's, it, it has a pure essence. Unlike any other type of liquid, you know, it's, it's like at its most root form of being a liquid, you know, water. And from this, all life, you know, thrives. All forms of life need this most basic substance, you know, water. And, and, and I'm going to say life as we know it on this planet. So, you know, this is just some things to think about. You know, this is the reason, you know, I, I suppose, you know, I, I feel compelled. I mean, it, was, it was inevitable that, you know, I would want to turn this backyard into some kind of a, to a garden like this. You know, I had another uh, place that I was living and I did a similar thing because I, I felt compelled. I felt, you know, that, you know, it needed to be there. It needed to, you know, the, the weeds and the bramble was, was a bother to me, an, an eyesore. And it just felt like that there could be more, you know, more. So, yeah, there's a spiritual, um, a, a very heavy spiritual aspect to this, a very heavy spiritual dimension to all this. And, and I don't want to say this where, where it gets into like some kind of spooky um, idea, but I'm saying this in a sense of being connected, your, you know, your mind being connected to the knowledge of what it exists in. You understand? Like I said, sometimes we could get so caught up in the drama of the world amongst other humans that we forget our own existence and we forget what we exist in. We, we forget where we are. You understand? We forget these things. And really, you know, we have to be aware of it all. We have to be aware of as much of what it means to be as possible. Yes, like I said, we could read about it in books. We've got Bibles, Qurans, you know, writings from, you know, scholars and prophets and these persons and those persons. But it's a whole nother thing to experience divine inspiration. It's a whole nother thing to experience a divine uh, uh, motivation, you know, a divine connection to the universe to the cosmos it's a whole other thing to be able to hear peace just from water and that's all it is right now it's just water but yet it's so much more so yeah i just wanted to come out and uh show you how these lights look and uh that's my son in the background um and let you you know see these things and just kind of uh say some words that's on the chest right now. And I know it's probably bedtime for most. So with that said, I'll let you go back to bed and get your rest. Y'all can check out this video, this live, you know, when it, you know, pre, you know, when it's recorded or whatever, saved or whatever. You can check it out when you get a chance. I'd like to hear your comments and questions and thoughts about what I've said and what I've talked about. Because um, this is my zone right here. This is this is where, um, you know, I tap into what m means something to me per uh, on a personal level. This is where I tap into all that. Yeah. So, beloved black family, original, original peoples, uh, I'm going to say... Assalamu alaikum, shalom, hotep, peace be with you. From your brother Abdul Wadud, aka Wapinzi, aka Quest Man. All of that. And um, I'm gonna be out. Stay blessed.